In this video, we will show you how to create this effect for your website, whether you are a design studio or a web designing studio. This kind of effect will attract your clients and make them like your website more. Not only that, it will give a good imp impression that you are developing such 3D effects and cool websites. So rather than keeping your websites just normal with text and buttons, just add some 3D elements to make your site look more impressive. So creating this effect is not very difficult because we are just going to uh, just, uh, just using the same code which we used for the previous tutorial. You can see the part 1, 2 and 3 for HTML, CSS and JS in our previous video link in the description. Just copy those files which you created in that tutorials to a totally new project. Just take the CSS from here and put it in a new file. Just yes, this, this is a new file and inside this paste it and just save it as style.css. Go to our script.js, copy it and paste it into a new file. Make sure that you are choosing the correct folder for your new project and in the same folder where you, are, you have kept your CSS file, keep the script.css, sorry, script.js file. Just rename it to script.js. Yes. So now just go and replace this file. Yes, I want to replace this file. Okay. So now we have the CSS and JS file ready. Just one last thing is copy the HTML and paste it to our new HTML page and save it in the same folder. So this is our previous project which is just a copy of new project now. In the new project we have to make sure that we uh, instead of using the sphere geometry we use plane geometry. Write plane geometry here and change the instead of because there is no radius in the plane remove the radius thing and let's open in the browser. The planes are so big that they are just covering the whole horizon. Just uh, make uh, change the size to some uh, smaller number. Yes, in this line, write 1 and also for the height, write 1. So now width and height are 1 for the plane geometry and also replace the sphere in the whole file with plane using find replace function of your editor. So there is not a big change but just for understanding the code or making the code readable, more readable. We, we need to just rotate the plane so that it should face to the camera side. For this we will use plane dot rotation dot z or sorry z is equal to math dot pi divide by 2. So we will write slash 2 and refresh. But still the planes are just in the same position, same rotation. Let's change it to x and refresh. In this kind of projects you have to experiment a lot and just keep changing x, y and z values to match your needs. Sometimes things don't appear like they are actually. So it depends on different perspectives from where you are watching this scene. But one thing is when we see the fa the the faces from the front, they are visible. When but when they turn, once they turn, they are not visible. So for this, there is a solution in 3G, 3JS. But where to put this solution? 3JS show backside of a face. Why I am not using Google uh, instead? I am using ChatGPT because uh, when you use Google and you go to another websites, there are a lot of ads and this and that. You waste a lot of time. You don't be focused. So just use chat gpt here the it says that uh, you can use the side and use double side to see the faces from both sides for both sides front and back just take this and put it in our our material here and let's refresh again to see the change yes now the faces are visible from the front side let's wait and see from back side Yes, 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 yes. Now the faces are visible from both the sides. Make sure that everything else in the code is correct. I think there are some extra things in this code which we need to remove, but we will just have a look to make sure that everything is perfect. There are some extra, extra things from the previous tutorial which are also added because we just copied and pasted into the new project. Let's make sure that if there is something extra to remove because we just want to make sure that our code is clean and not messy. Alright, I think most of the part for this tutorial is covered. If you have any doubts, questions and if you didn't understood anything, please uh, comment in the comment section and ask your questions so we can develop more code like this. And if you have any ideas, you can also tell in the comment section. Thanks for watching.